view on watch page, adrenaline, actually two people waiting, shot. Hey, Espen. <coughs> oh, boy. So, can I be heard? Is there sound? Is there any other underlying issue that we don't know about? Sound and audio, sound and video is good. Well, there's a first. I guess you guess you can't screw up all the time, can you? All right, very quickly, I um, hope everybody's doing pretty well. Today we're painting Adrenaline. Now, I know that I was supposed to do battle stations yesterday, but because I had my car down at the dealership, and they promised that it was only going to take 45 minutes, which turned into two and a half hours, I ran real late and had to get home at which took me a bit and of course we had problems uh, because we had this whole area just filled with games from the silent auction and it is a silent auction somebody asked me is it a silent auction yes it is a silent auction because that's the definition of a silent auction that people bid silently and that the highest thing wins I looked it up somebody said it wasn't that it was some kind of hidden bid auction I don't know it didn't matter uh, very quickly though um, there are a few lots that don't have any bids still uh, I think it's down to five lots so hopefully that they'll all go before Sunday uh, everything's going very well I want to thank everybody for being so generous and, uh, and and taking the time to help both these great charities it means a lot to us and when I get back we'll be doing more Rob, when you post your streams, they show up quite high in the YouTube search. Is there something you do? Janice streams doesn't show up near as well. Uh, I don't know. I wish I knew. I wish I knew. But let's get to the task at hand. We have an hour. This is going to probably be part one. Now, these minis are not really made to be painted. Uh, they're not highly, highly detailed. They're very good. They're very nice. I like them even without paint, but I'm painting them because I think it would look good if we do paint them. And uh, so why don't we just talk about a little bit what I'm doing right here. Okay, so I actually have these, these cards here to show you how they're going to look. Eventually, this girl here, who I primed white, and I, as you can see, I already put some of her body, uh, um, uh, her flesh in, and, um, I left it so we can we can take care of the rest of it at some point that she's going to be purple for the most part this dude we're going to actually use a uh, stegodon scale green and uh, he looks really cool but I also did him white because I want that stegodon green to really jump out and uh, we're going to play around with it too and really try to pull out some color and some detail on this our boy here, we took an Avalon, uh, Avalon, I think it's Avalon uh, yellow, and sprayed him with that. It's a GW color. It really makes a big difference. Hey Rob, do you know when patron drawing will be this month? I'm guessing after Gen Con. No, I will be do. I will announce that Sunday. Uh, usually we wait till patron to clear. Um, uh, usually that takes to about the seventh. Uh, we give everybody a chance to, to fix any problems that they have so they're not disqualified. And then uh, usually once it, it clears, then that's when we d I do the patron drawing. So I'm hoping to do it before Gen Con and then send everything out after Gen Con. So there you go. And getting back to my paint lesson, not my patron lesson. Uh, we got this dude. So he's got a little flesh, so we I've already painted that in on his arms. And then pretty much we're just gonna dry brush him. Now this guy, this guy could be a little bit um, difficult. And 
He's green, but we pl I sprayed him with a plague green. Because what I'm trying to do is cut down on some time. So by doing that, that really helps. There's not a ton of detail there, but we're going to try to pull out what we can and maybe improvise a little bit with him. So that's what we're planning to do. Now, this will probably be a two-part series. I'm excited about painting this. The, the people at Check Games were very nice, and they were just wonderful to, to uh, provide this so we can do this. So... Let's start here with the Stegodon Green, okay? Because that's gonna pretty much go all over and we're gonna cover this entire model with it. So we're gonna shake this up really good. And that's exactly what we're planning on doing. So we're gonna take some of the Stegodon Green. We're gonna open it up and you can see it's a, it's a darkish, greenish, kind of bluish thing going on there. So we're going to take this over here a little bit and I'm going to get this on our palette working. And we are just going to paint everything except for the gun this particular color. Now it's going to be a little dark going on, but that's okay. The, the, the white is really going to lighten it up. And we'll be able to really see this once it's done. And let me just... Do that real quick. Go a little bit more. Probably could use a bigger brush on this, but I kind of want to be careful because I want to leave that gun white. So it's going to look pretty dorky to begin with, but it's all going to come together. Everything always comes together. If you learned anything here, is that everything eventually comes together. And I want to use a bigger brush on this. I think I would have a little bit better control on it. Let's get a piece of paper towel over here so we don't have to reach in front of the camera every time we want to dry something. I always like to keep that right about there. And something a little bit bigger. I bought some newer paint, so. All right, so let's try this. All right. Because we don't want to sit here all day painting this. There we go. We're not worried about getting on the base because we're going to repaint the base. And we're going to want to get underneath and in between and so forth and so on. And all the areas that we possibly can. And there we go. Uh, let's see. Dennis, how are you? Nigel? Benzo? Leland, as always, good to see you, my friend. Nathaniel? And, of course, uh, an edible bee. So, let's get a little more paint on here. And... All we're going to do is just get this in there. And I'm not worried about getting it all over the place. All I want to do is really just, I want to be kind of careful around this gun here. And I can worry about that later. I can just touch it up with a smaller brush. But for time's sake, what you're trying to do, it's all about being able to do something with speed, and yet you want to be proficient. So sometimes having two brushes ready is always such a good thing to do and that's a lot of times what I'll do is I will cover all the big areas with the big brush and then just switch brushes very quickly and take care of those areas that I think I can I can reach in there and again I want to thank everybody it's nice to be back painting here on the channel it's been a little bit I think about a week or so and we're going to try to get these as far as we can. And uh, Sunday we are going to be doing Battle Stations, which is another game that uh, we are really looking forward to along with this one. This one's going to be a hoot. Uh, I've been, I saw this at um, BGG Con, and I was enamored with it, but they sold out so quickly. And I'm not somebody to bother somebody for a game, but 
Uh, I was really kind of concerned with trying to get things home at the time. Um, matter of fact, I was telling Sam today, who I was talking with a little while ago, my good friend and roommate, permanent roommate. Uh, I'm hoping that he'll come up at some point again. And this time not forget his suitcase, so I have to ship it back. Alright. So now you see, using that bigger brush, I was able to get all this area here pretty quickly. And I'll clean off this brush and go to a smaller brush and just touch up the smaller areas. Now if I get any on that gun that I want to kind of keep white, that's okay because I'll be able to. Hey Rob, do you ever brush on GW Air Paint? Would they go on better since the paint is much thinner? I probably would. You can use anything you want. Again, I try to steer things towards beginners and just do very, very simple paint jobs because I want you guys to go out there and I want you to paint. It's as simple as that. Getting too complicated and making it too uncost effective for people, I think is unrealistic. Now you can get all kinds of different paints. There's cheaper paints out there. Now I prefer to use these, but I also have no, as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna do one paint uh, show where we are just going to be painting with like Americana. We're gonna do an entire model thing with Americana paints. Just to show you that it can be done. And that it can be ineffective. I mean cost effective. Alright. So we want to get the back of here. Because that's not easy to do. This is a tough model to paint too. So that's why we're kind of getting the base on this guy first because it is not an easy thing to paint. Now, as always, I always tell you, especially when we're, when we're doing this live, that you'll hear the dogs, which, just in case you're a first timer and you've never been on here before, you're gonna hear dogs, you're gonna hear reality TV, you're gonna hear a lot of things. This is how our house works. People go on with their lives and I just, do things while everybody's here. I think that's the best way to do it, don't you? And we try to give that air of realism. Because this is how it's gonna be in your house too. Well, it's not a perfect show. Sound's gotten better, the picture's gotten 100% better compared to what it used to be. I'm not liking this white gun thing. I saw that in the picture and I just look at it and I go, yeah, it's just not working for me. I think I'll do something a little different maybe. And you can paint these any way you want. You can go by the pictures that you see or you can just use your imagination and do it the way you want to do it. And that, I always encourage that. Don't always follow step by step. Do things the way you want to see them. Matter of fact, I'm going to go away from the the white gun. Let me make sure I'm still on camera here. And we're just trying to fill in this area here. Gee whiz. Uh, I don't like this brush. We're just going to finish up with it while we're at it. Okay, so. Now, I don't know if anybody's excited about football tonight. The Cowboys are playing the Arizona Cardinals in the very first preseason game. I can't believe that football's back already. It's soccer, or real football as they call it, starts this weekend with the Community Shield, Arsenal and Chelsea. So it's an exciting time of the year, that's for sure. I'm excited as I'm a big man United fan and looking forward to the boys taking on the field and me yelling and throwing things and of course my wife had a nice vacation from it 
But that's over now. I told her. New season. Huh? Yep. More yelling, more tossing the hassocks and chairs and everything else that I do. Alright. Let's just clean this up in here. Alright, this gun, I think we're going to do something different with. So we're going to let that guy dry. And again, you know, there's a, a billion ways you can do these things and, and, and stuff like that. I'm just showing you one way. The best way is to just do what you think works for you. And that's what's most important. Now we're going to come over to this guy because this guy's the simplest guy. So while that guy's drying, and we're going to break out some lead belcher. Whoops. Do you ever paint eyes? I struggle with that. Yeah, I paint eyes. I paint eyes. I paint all kinds of things. I've done it quite a few times. As a matter of fact, I think I had a lesson on it as well. So we're going to go to this guy. And this guy is just a nice dry brush. That's all he is. Nice, simple dry brush. And as you can see, there he is. Oops, let's back him up away a bit so he'll focus. There we go. And we're just going to dry brush. Did you prime each color, uh, each a different color? Yes. This there's only five models to this, so you, this was something that you could do to cut cut some time down. So I, I thought it would be good to do that. So what we're doing on this episode is we're getting all the base colors on. And we're getting this ready might even be able to finish a guy or two so all we're going to do is I, I i took some lead belcher here and then of course as you know i've, I've said it a thousand times you kind of wipe it off then here's where the work comes just taking leaving your hand wide open and just just going over the armor you don't want to get his flesh or anything like that we kind of just kind of want to work this in here because I've seen pictures of this guy and he's primarily just armor. He's all this armor. Now, being very careful right in here. I also noticed that he had a couple other things going for him, so I want to get a little bit more on here. I think I took off too much, but that's okay because what you want to do is you want to get this in here and try to take it off. There we go. And so while well, some of these guys are drying, okay, again, working up into here, being careful not to get the area that I painted already. Get up into there, watch out for his arms. We don't want silver arms. And just working around. And just being, you know, the black really helps because it really brings out a little bit more detail. So by doing this and just going over lightly, and I'm gonna show you how this all kinds of works together because that black underneath really brings out what detail this has. And these aren't made really, are, are, you know, these models are not really made to be painted, but boy, I think they just will. It gives them another air of dimension when you do that. When you play this great, great game from Czech Games, these guys are just fabulous anyways. But all the stuff they're coming out, they're doing some wonderful, wonderful work. And uh, I think just a nice dry brush. I mean, look how simple. You can just leave this guy like this, and he would be pretty cool. By just adding a little bit of color in there, let's just get in there a little bit more and bring that out. And that's what we're trying to do there we go and just by doing something as simple as that I mean honestly you can get away with that you know you can get away with that and say hey guys I, this is this guy you know you don't have to go crazy you don't have to you know lose your mind on things and he would be pretty good just like that but we're you know sometimes I just like to take things a little further so we're gonna let that dry a little bit and we'll come back to him because I've got some plans for him glad football is back are the cards back or will the Dak boys 
have a sophomore slump. Well, who knows? There's only one way to find out, and that's to watch, isn't it? All right, so we're going to move these over here. And I'm just going just gonna to come back to this guy a little bit. Now, like I, I, would, I say, I've shown a thousand times, it's just dry brushing and really just trying to get that color in there. And even if this, again, like I said, if this is, was just like this, this would be fine for anybody's board, but we're gonna take this a little farther. I just wanted to catch some areas here. As you see, just leaving a little bit of that lead belcher on your, on your brush and just going over ever so lightly. It really brings out that, that silver. And that's what we're looking to do here. Absolutely right where we need them to be so we can take them to the next stage. There we go. Sorry guys, I was actually also taping for the dice tower at the same time. <laughs> so while you guys are watching this, this will also be on the dice tower because we're going to do a taped version for them. So now we're going to take a smaller brush and with that same lead belcher, we're going to start working some of the areas of this guy. Now this guy here, it's going to, he's going to take a little time. So you really got to decide what you want to use as far as, as a, um, see, I'm, I'm thinking of doing a lot of things, lead belcher, and then going over with a very dark wash in those areas. And by doing here in the joints here a little bit and just really bringing this guy out and, and, uh, and also using, um, using a couple things and really making it work. Uh, gonna have to finish watching this a little later. Okay, Mr. Figs, well, thanks for stopping by. We always appreciate having you here, my friend. Yeah, and I think that's the way we're gonna, we're gonna go here. So the way I'm gonna go here is, I'm, this is gonna take a little bit, but it it's worth the work that you're gonna put in. So by just taking and just going over this, and, and it's not gonna go on very well. I can tell you that I'm trying to put this silver or this lead belcher over over this, is not an easy thing because sometimes it needs a, a couple extra coats. Yellow is probably one of the most difficult colors to work with. It really doesn't sit well as an underneath coat. It is difficult to work with because it just sticks out like a sore thumb. Probably can go a bit of a bigger brush, but we're not going to. So we're going to work his hand here because we want his hand to pop out. And I'm really trying to take a look here and see. I want to go a little bit bigger brush. Just a little bit bigger brush. I like the set. It's what I bought. You get, every, oh, okay. You guys are talking about something totally different, which is perfectly fine by me. I'm not, um, let's see if we can find something that'll work. Uh, that might, but I think I'm gonna go with this here because this'll work best. So after priming this, this guy yellow, I wish I knew what their names were. What we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna take some lead belcher. And we're really gonna just hit certain areas. Like his hand here is completely uh, done that way. And if you go on to the yellow, it's okay. Don't worry about it because you can retouch it up. But we wanna get his feet down here. 
and we want to uh, really kind of make and work this all together and I'll basically have this all done pretty soon and then we'll see what our next stage is here but let's just keep working on this all right and in the same instance we are just going to really try to catch all these metal areas and this brush is actually working a lot better than the other brush I had so I'm really kind of just really kind of working in there I could see where the plastic didn't really like you know the very expensive <laughs> primer which was is a little disappointing because I got just a little bit of bubbling but that's easy to fix we could fill that in and really take care of this and that's exactly what we're going to do here and we're just taking care of the, my boy's feet here so they all go together correctly hello Felipe and we're just going to work that in there and we're just going to keep on working our way around and we want to get the back end here don't worry about getting the lead belcher on the base because we're going to paint these bases anyways we'll do something with them that's for sure and they're there and i want to finish his hand here this is where it gets a little tricky trying to figure out what you want to do with them this gun definitely rifle whatever you want to call it it's just screaming to be painted and we're just going to go completely over it and I want to be a little careful over here I want to be careful over there we'll switch to a smaller brush soon enough and with his hands right there we can really bring this out a bit uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I want to take a look at something because yeah there we go that's what I'm looking at and that's exactly what I want to look at hi Lori how are you all right now what's really going to help is when we put right now it doesn't look that hot but that's okay because what's really going to sell it is when we put the uh, new oil once this dries it's really going to darken everything up and really give us the kind of look that we want here there we go into the gun the rifle that is there we go we want to make sure uh, his hand there also but we'll find a way to divvy that up because we'll actually bring that out a little bit it sounds like the queen's got a phone call well we can't answer it we're live Maybe, maybe it's another crank call, right? <laughs> All right. So I think we'll get in between those joints there. Now we're going to move over to a smaller brush, something a little bit more controllable. And I'm not using really good brushes today. I went and bought a pack of those El Cheapo brushes. Nothing too cheap, but sometimes I just feel more comfortable and at ease using a cheaper brush. Did you guys get any weather from the tropical storm? No, but we, we just got through getting a bit of uh, some thunderstorms that just rolled through. Now we're gonna come in here and we're really gonna try to really break this guy up a little bit here. Because there's two different types of wash that we're gonna put in on this. And I'll show you how to do that. And we're going to go right here. And 
work that into there. There we go. Now I want to work his his CV joints here. And I'm going to have to touch that up because I just messed up. Actually, I should use a even smaller brush. And I will. There we go. And that's a lot better. There we go. And we'll just work that in there. The wash might work it its way in there and make make it so I don't have to touch up the yellow. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Once we put the wash on. Sometimes the wash can really make you look like a better painter than you are. And that's not a bad thing because that's what it's there for, right? It's there to make you look good. Alright, so let's see. Let's go and paint some of this in here. And I like doing that. That would give it a little more oomph by painting his leg mechanics, making sure that that stands out pretty good. And I think we'll come up even into here a little bit. And if we turn this right way, we can work it a certain way. And work that into there. There, that looks a little bit better. Now his eyes, what I I, want, I noticed is that for the most part, they're silver, but they have like black in the middle. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint right in there and then we're gonna come back to it we're just going to put a little black dot in there. There we go. And this is hard, but if you start in the middle and just kind of circular your way out, you'll be all right. And then he's got like little nodules here, which, which will hit. And that'll really show when we put the wash on. Paint those a little bit. We'll do over here and over there. There we go. And then we're going to paint some black in there too. So we're going to really try to work this guy. Let's finish up the the gears here. Because we got more gears here that we want to take care of. And. By doing that, when we put that wash in there, it's really going to give a nice effect, especially over the yellow. The yellow is always so difficult to work with, like I've said a few times today. Yellow is just a very, very difficult color to get away with. And there's ways to do it, and we're going we're gonna to work on it. Right now we're just trying to get the base in here, and that's what's important. Alright, let's just paint over that a little bit, there we go, close that, whoops, and you're going to drop them too, so that's okay. And there we go, okay, I'm missing some stuff here. Michael, how are you? Dave, how are you? But I also play that, da, 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 da. just a lot of rain, nothing here, da, 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 da. All right, there we go. Virgin Queen is a Euro. Shut up and sit down. Thinks otherwise. Oh, okay. He's talking about something that I'm not going to worry about. How's that? So what else do we have here? Well, I don't think it's shoulder joints. All right, let's go for it. Let's let's be a little more. Let's be a little adventurous. And let's paint his shoulder joints. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make it mechanical as can be. 
we're gonna paint these pistons here. There we go. And I want to make sure that we don't kill the yellow totally. So, and we're going to do this joint here by just hitting this piston here. This will all come together pretty nicely. Right now, it's just not going to look that good. So. Let's keep going here. Oops. Oh, I hate these cameras. All right. There we go. All right. So now what we're doing is we're just finishing up all these joints here. If we can just get these joints work, it's going to look like garbage to begin with. And it's going to look pretty amateurish. But that's only because we haven't highlighted anything. That's where the real thing comes out. It's just getting your base colors on. And that's what really makes what you're trying to do. So getting these base colors on, just getting them in there, and working your way around. Now if you make any mistakes, that's okay because everything's fixable. Right guys? There you go. That's the way we do it. All right. There we go. And we're fine with that right there. Dennis, I do use a wet palette from time to time, but again, this is painting 101, okay? person that's never picked up a paintbrush isn't going to want to sit there and play with a wet palette. And that's all I try to do is just show people basically how to pick up a brush and get going. And that is the main objective with this channel. And that's all we tried to do. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm not here to outpaint anybody or outdo anybody, but eventually we will move up to that thing when I, I'm, I'm, I feel that the people that are following, and I do get still tons of questions about the most simplest of things, and there's lots of new people that always pop in here saying, hey, I heard you can teach me how to paint, and I'm scared to pick up a paintbrush. I'm definitely not going to hit them with a wet palette right off the bat. Hey, Just. Okay. Oh, hold on. Who's in the kitchen? I'm in the laundry. Oh. You need something? Oh no, I was just gonna have have you lower that TV. I guess it it stopped doing whatever it's taped and it's blasting. That's okay. No, I, I didn't know who was in there. I thought you went in the other room. Not to worry. I can always tell everybody, this is just the way it is. So, yeah, whatever they're shooting, or whoever they're shooting, is pretty loud. What's his face? Buck Rogers. Buck Rogers? Is it really Buck Rogers? Yeah, I think so. The movie? Yeah. Oh, man, that was the best movie ever. From the 80s? Oh. Uh. Buck Rogers in the 21st century with Gil Gerard, right? And Ern Gray, if I remember correctly. All right, there we go. Just basic what we need. Uh, may not be what you are, you here do, but still do it. What? May not be what you you what you here to do but you still do it I have no idea what that means Rob have any advice for how to paint diamonds on Warhammer Harlequin minis um, I can show you how to do it I usually just do double triangles one up one down 
I think this is more as speed painting for the non-style gamer. Well, I don't know what it is, but I do try to do. 22 people, your, uh, your, hold on. May not what you're here to do, but you still do it. I don't know what I do, but I guess I do it. <laughs> Sorry, I think uh, I'm not, because I'm not paying attention like I normally do, because I'm trying to do being a better painter than most. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Cyril. I don't think I am. I think I'm just like anybody else. I can, I can do what anybody else can do. Or you guys can do. You guys can do this. This guy we might save for next episode. Her we might save for next episode. We just might bounce around between these three people here. This is still drying a little bit. This gun I think I'm just going to go with. Hmm. It shows her with a white gun and it does look kind of cool. But I don't. I don't buy it. Maybe if we go black and then a little lead belcher over and then over that with a higher, yeah. Keep it simple, stupid, right? So we're gonna take a bad and black because we gotta take that out anyways. So, We're going to take this little brush here. So we're going to come back to this model here and what we're going to do is just take a little bit of black and we're going to paint that gun black. And we're going to go over and we're just going to hit that gun with a good coat of black. And the reason doing that is pretty simple. All I want to do is just, I want to be able to get it to a point where I can add some lead belcher and give it that metallic look. So I think this is the best thing to do is just add some black to it. So we're just going to get that white off. Originally I was going to try to do the white thing, I just don't, I didn't like it not with this particular figure, not with the color scheme that I'm going with. So we're going to just do it that way. And get that in there. But while we have the black out, by the way, folks, for all you non-believers, yeah, I can do it. I just do it slower and sloppier. You just take them. Never thought of doing triangles. That helps a lot. Thank you, Sean. Well, I do try to help. I do try to serve a purpose here. May not be a good one all the time, but I do try to serve some kind of purpose for the general public. Plus, now that we have Mike, we are doing... Um, we're trying to mix some master classes. I'm letting Mike handle those because he has more time. I don't know how with those small children, but he has some things that he's been practicing and working on. And I said, well, share it with everybody because people want to see advanced techniques. So I'm going to let him handle that. I'm going to just keep speed painting things <laughs> and showing you a quick way of how to do it. All right, so that's the black there. Let me see, I missed, uh, not really. We're going to put a wash on that anyways. It's all about having interchangeable brushes at your side, which I do. Now this, this is going to be a little tricky because I want to come and I want to get in his mouth. And you want that to really stand out. Because his face is what really sells him. So you want to be able to not make that miss. See, there we go. That that dark smile. And it just says, yeah, here he comes. He's got mean intentions. And that's what we're looking for.
And now taking the black, you know, especially since we just got done painting that gun, you really kind of want those eyeballs to stand out because if you look in the picture, all you see is these great big black eyeballs surrounded by by a, a silver line. So what we're just trying to do is paint in there and boom so you have those there and you got the smile because that face is what really stands out on this particular model he's all over the box he's all over he's all over everything so there we go so let's put him down we'll let him dry for a little see but when i put him down there i can see just a little bit yellow and i don't want that there we go now it's gone now we got it. So, there we go. We're going to let that dry because we're going to get at least him done, I think, at some point today. This guy here. Now, Mike is great. I grabbed a few rosemary brushes from his suggestion. It's a nice alternative to a W and N brushes. Oh, really? So, are you excited for Gen Con or so worn out from all the other cons? That it's just work at this point. Um, it is work at this point. Um, I'm kind of anxious because there's a lot of things that I want to accomplish. I have a bunch of meetings that I have uh, that are important. Um, but, you know, trying to have fun, that's probably the hardest thing to do. Um, but I'm going to try to, you know, being there with Sam and Z and Tom, it's always a lot of laughs. Getting to see Joe again after our, our adventure is going to be fun all in all it's going to be a great time and I, i'm really going to enjoy myself but there's a lot of things that i want to accomplish there's a lot of games i want to get and make sure that i get shipped back here so when we get back we're giving you guys the very best you know you know we don't want to give you second rate material and that's what we always strive to do we're not the best channel in the world, but we do try to do the best that we can. So, looking at this guy, he's, it looks like he's got a little red plate there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the fist on red while the dogs fight viciously. It's all right. They're fine. Don't fool dogs. And this is a good time to take a little of the fist on red. And kind of point out certain things that you want to highlight. Now, he's got the number 42 here. So I kind of want to be a little bit careful. And I'm going to try to let it stand out as a silver, uh, a lead belcher. So by just going around the number... And just, yeah, there we go. I'll show you guys in a minute how this all works out. And we're just trying to bring now the 42. We took this Mephist on red, and we are just kind of very slowly working our way around the number. And just filling in the gaps in between the number. Now my hands are a little shaky today, but that's okay because you can steady them by sometimes just putting your pinky on the model. You know who taught me that? Sam Healy, my, my brother from another mother. Actually, I taught him. Don't let him, don't let him sell you anything. So now you can see how that 42 Kind of stands out now if you want to put that out if you want to paint over that maybe go a white over it you can do that that's fine you can do anything that you want to do so here again we're just going to keep on going and we're just going to touch certain areas like over here i kind of i kind of you know you don't have to stay to what you see on the box but they, it has a little plates here i think it'll be cool if i just add a little red in there and when the wash goes over, it'll just really look good. So let's just keep on going here, huh? What are they doing? Are they fighting? 
You dumb dogs. You know, it is, they sense it's the weekend almost. Well, actually, it is the weekend for them because the queen doesn't work on Fridays. Well, sometimes she does. Huh? It's her day to do everything else around the house so I don't have to. Yeah, you take care of your mom. She takes care of her mom and she does a lot of errands and stuff like that on Friday, so it's kind of get up and go day for her. But, uh, yeah, there we go. See, that kind of, I like the way that kind of works in there. So let me, let me, uh, let me answer some of these questions. I'm sorry. I, I was really concentrating on what I was doing here. <coughs> So let me scroll back, forgive me. Okay. Oh boy, this stupid thing. I don't know what the heck. Stupid. Oh, it froze. What the heck happened? Oh no, it didn't freeze. All right, there we go, I'm sorry. Uh, so are you excited for, Je yeah, I answered that one, I think. Mike is great. Yes, he is. I have some br nice brushes, but I tried buying packages of basic brushes from Walmart. No, 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 no. You kind of want to get the middle of the line. Rob needs a West Coast appearance. <laughs> yeah, if I, there was a con, yeah, probably. I just, uh, matter of fact, uh, if, um, if there was one out there, Miniature Market probably send this. I like to get cheap brushes from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, those are the kind that you want. Uh, way better than the Walmart. Yeah, because you're not... I still use a few acrylic brushes. I have fallen in love with Sable. The Sable's very good. My acrylic brushes I get from... Uh, yeah, Squirrel Hair. <laughs> from Cherries that I really like. Unfortunately, I can't find... I'm a brushaholic. Yeah, you want to talk about brushaholic? This is just a, a small sampling. And then we, we've got them all over here. This is what I basically run, run out and get. First of all, I get, I really enjoy these, the Master Touch. But these are nice for just all around work. The fine touch brushes. I, I kind of like those. And for like $6.99, you get about 10 or 11 And a lot of times I'm able to do a lot of things with them. So it really works out really, really well. So where are we at here? Uh, oh. Rob, Bob Ross game out of respect. Bob Ross game. I, I don't know enough about it. Um, I haven't, um, I haven't messed with it. I, I, don't, I just don't know enough about it. Uh, this guy here, it's just a lot of metallic. Let's see if we can get a good squander of him. Oh, we could do that. So now that we kind of got him where we need to be, we're going to... These two are, we're gonna definitely, I think, get pretty close to done today. What time is it? Oh, wow, we're almost at 6.55? Okay, we'll go about another 15, 20 minutes. Matter of fact, we'll stay away from this guy and this guy, and we'll kinda just work back with her a little bit, and then do these two. And then what we'll do is we'll save this for Monday, which should only be about an hour when we finish up these two, and we'll be good to go. So let's move these off the, the table here. And let's get to where we really want to get. So I think a little Temple Guard Blue. Uh, Temple Guard Blue is a good color to kind of dry brush over all that color that we put in there. Kind of bring that out a little bit. So why don't we try that and see if it works pretty good. And we want to be careful though. We don't want to hit that gun too much. So I'm going to shake this up real good. And am 
might be a little too light. Nah, I think it just might be right if it's done correctly. Those damn dogs. Uh, I don't want to use this brush. See how I'm in the middle of something, I'll just change a brush. Jeez. I think I make up my mind. This is just going to do a lot more coverage quickly. And we're going to be able to do things. You and Mike got me to get a dog's life and picnic panic to play with my nieces and nephew. Well, thank you, Joe Bud. Hope you enjoy it. I'll tell you, um, picnic panic, we're actually going to paint and we're going to have the girls come over and paint it. So it's going to be fun, I think. From the way I saw them play Dog's Life, I can imagine how they're going to be on camera. So now it's just taking and just, just really just laying a nice layer over this guy. And being pretty much careful what we do. This isn't the only color that we're going to do. We're actually going to sit this up a bit. And we are going to darken everything up. His robe here is not going to stay that color. We're actually going to go another color. But because it's in the way, we want to get all the other stuff out of the way first. And you can see how this color just really starts to bring him out. So now by taking this temple guard blue and just getting some on that brush there, just taking it all off basically. And what we want to do here is just kind of work our way in here. And just even though this I'm going to change the color of this this robe here I just want to kind of work this in here and just I'm just working his chest here and working it around and just by dry brushing it it brings a little more highlight out to this alien we don't want to get that dark gun that we just worked on, but we just want to get his flesh and we want to get the high points here. And that's why we're using a dry brush technique on this guy. And just working through here and here and here. And right now, that's kind of right where I, I want to have him until the next episode. But right now, we want to get down to business on these guys. There's a couple things that we really want to hit home. Oops. And I'll turn around and make sure I can grab what I need. I think an Agra Earthshade. Might be dark enough. Flesh shade might be too much. Well, I'll tell you what I am looking for, if I can find it. And there would be the new oil. That is a home run for us. And we're going to use three different, different uh, shades here. So now to finish these two guys up in this first thing, we're going to want to do two, a couple different colors. Number one, we're going to want to darken up that yellow because we don't want it to look as, as fake and as cheap as it is. So we're going to use uh, probably an Agrath's Earth shade on it. But the metallic parts, we really want to, we really want to darken that up and we want to use a new oil. So we're going to take and start applying some of this. We want to get ourselves a good brush and really get to work on this. 
So, let's shake up our agraph earth shade. Now the flesh shade, what we're going to use is for his flesh. So we could probably do that now. And we're just going to take, dump our brush in there. Doesn't really matter, but we kind of want to just, we're not worried about getting it on the metal or anything like that. We just want to move it in there, get it on his flesh to try to pull out any kind of, any kind of definition that we can find. And if you got too much, just take it off. As you can see, I'm pulling a little bit of it off. And I'm just making sure that it sits in there right. Because what's going to happen is when I, I come back to it in a few minutes, after we get done with this guy, you're going to see what I'm talking about. All right. I'll clean that off. And we're going to shake up. I wonder if I even have any in here. Well, there's a little, there's just enough in here. So now we have our Agrath's Earth Shade, and what we're going to do is we're just going to get a good amount of it on our brush, nice and dark, and it's going to be dark enough to go over this guy. So, whoops, it's okay, don't worry about dripping it. And all I want to do is just go completely over this whole, all the yellow spots. And that's all we're trying to do is just get it over there. It's going to darken the yellow up, but it's also going to get in those recesses of the yellow, which is good. And what I'm trying to do is actually darken this up so I can lighten it up, believe it or not. Because all I want with the yellow, because the yellow is such a difficult color to work with. Unless you really know what you're doing, it can be difficult and it can look very fake. By darkening this up the way I'm doing, I can now start to pull out detail of the yellow by just hitting the high points with a, with a, with a, when this dries a better yellow. But right now, even if you didn't want to do that, this kind of brings some depth to the yellow and brings that three-dimension look I'm always talking about. So you're able to go in there and, and really kind of work this in here. If you notice, I'm trying to keep it off the the um, the uh, the uh, metallic, even though I'm not doing a very good job of it. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to go over it in a little while once this dries a little. And you can see this is exactly what we're trying to accomplish here. We're just trying to really just bring out this particular model and really give him some depth and some 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 uh, vision here so you can really can work with this guy there we go so you can see here how I'm just moving this around not letting it pull up but it's also bringing out a lot of the yellow detail so you know before when you just looked at this it was just a blob of, of yellow but now all of a sudden this guy has some some depth, some, some, and, 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 and you really kind of works. How hard is it to correct if you get the wash on the wrong spot? You just go over, over it with, with the other wash. It, it really does cover over it. Like I'm getting some on here. It's okay. Because I know I'm going to go over with the darker wash. You want to kind of just work it in there. Wash is wash. And there we go. And you see now all of a sudden he, he kind of makes sense. Now we're gonna we're gonna work with him and bring him out, but you're gonna see that. So we're gonna put that down. We're gonna let that dry for a few minutes. Usually you would give it a half hour, but we're gonna try to move things along a little bit here. Now this new oil, we're gonna work with this guy here, and we're gonna shake that up real good. And now. With this other guy here, what we want to do is take this new oil and really, well, this is a new one. I didn't even realize it. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take, and we want to hit all this silver area. We want to try to keep it off as flesh, but if you get it on there, it's really not going to matter or anything. But this is really going to kind of darken him up. And if we go over the red area, it's going to make a big difference. And it's going to 
it's it's okay to get it on the red area so we're just taking and we're just working this wash in here now you're going to see how we're going to really really bring out some of these areas after this wash dries and it'll probably be in the next episode of this which i hope you'll stay tuned and watch as we will well the next episode we'll finish up the rest of these guys but we're just taking and we're just taking that wash and really getting it in there and really creating some 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 detail and like i said these are not extremely detailed models but they're very nice models and they're perfect for this game and this is a great game and if you have a chance and if you played it i think you will find that you will like it a lot another great game from check games so there we go we're gonna work that in there and i think that's pretty much it for that guy, those two guys for now So we're going to let him dry a little bit. And that works. I would have done, uh, you guys are talking about something. Let's see. I don't want to miss anything. So now we're going to take, because this is kind of almost there. So we're going to take the we're going to take the new oil and we're going to work on this guy now. We let him dry for a few minutes. Usually you want to let him dry for about 45 minutes or so, but that is not the case. We're just going to take a good amount. We don't want to get it on the yellow. This is where you want to try to get, a, you know, try to be a little careful, but if you do, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. It's not going to change anything. And all we're going to do is just go over the little metallic areas with the new oil. You control it, so you should be able to work it in there. As you can see, the feet are important that we get that in there because that's going to bring some depth there. But we're going to we're going to bring this all out. We're darkening it up so we can bring it back outwards, and it's really going to do a nice job here. And that's what we're trying to do. We want to get those joints there. And again, like I said, if you just if you're careful. And you can hit in there. There you go. Because it's not going to matter because even if you do get it on the yellow, it's okay. Because we're going to brighten that yellow back up again. I want to get his grills back here. I want to get the back C joints. Those back joints there. And there you go. There you have it. And don't worry about all this other stuff. Just work. The stuff that you have and move it around don't let it pull up and if it's pulling up just take your brush dry your brush off and then let it absorb onto your brush and work it in there all right there we go so we're going to let these two dry and then we're going to come back and i think that's that's going to be it for today and what we're going to do is we'll do a part two on this and we'll finish up uh we'll finish up the rest of the figures So we're gonna let these dry and we want them to dry for a good 45 minutes before we start messing around with them. This guy here, we dry brushed. So we're gonna to wanna to kinda of put a little silver on here while we're at it. Or lead belcher as we call it. We'll do that real quick. What time is it, 10 after? Yeah, all right. I find Army Painter Primer to be thicker than GW, so you need to be more careful. Yes, I use GW or I use, um, oh God, what the heck is it, Rust-Oleum. Uh, the times two stuff, which works pretty good. So I'm gonna put that over here, like so. Because I kinda want this to work in here a bit. And I've got a few ideas for this gun. Kinda bring this gun or rifle, weapon, whatever you want to call it, to life a bit. There we go. We're just trying to be careful here with our brush, being smart. There we go. Right, there we go. All right, good job. 
Uh, we're doing all right. For primer, the P3, P3 stuff is good. Yeah, they're all good. It just depends. It, 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 it comes down to what you're comfortable with. I think that's what really, really matters. I'm going to paint these silver on her back. There we go. And she's really, these guy, girls are really starting to stand out a little bit. There we go. All right. And then we're gonna we're gonna fancy this this weapon up pretty good, and we're gonna fancy some of the other weapons up. Let that dry. So we pretty much got these two, these three, kind of right where we want to have them right now. So they're gonna have to take some time to dry, especially since we just did the washes on these two guys, and of course. We're halfway, we dry brushed. We want to work on the coat there a little bit, which we'll do. And then uh, the next time we do this, I believe on Monday, we'll, we'll go to work on these two and finish these two up. So there you have it. I think that's uh, pretty much about everything that we need to cover. So, I think for my storm cast eternals, I will experiment and paint them with the retribution armor spray as a primer. I hope for the best. It actually works very, very well. It's expensive, but very, very, very good. Used to paint with uh, on my primer with a brush. Sometimes I do it. So almost any spray is much thinner. <laughs> very good, wow boy. All right, so there you go. There you have it. We've got three of the guys pretty much along the way. We're gonna show you how to highlight and bring them out. Um, as you can see, we've really darkened up that, that yellow, but we gotta bring that back to life and we'll do that pretty, pretty quickly and you'll see how that all work out. And this guy here, he's just nasty and, and just looking for boating and we're gonna actually lighten him up a bit, believe it or not. And we dry brushed this person and made him lighter, but we wanna go back a little bit and darken them up in, in a way so you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when we do our next episode so I hope you guys enjoyed this I had a lot of fun as always it's always great being with you guys and we will see you tomorrow because we're playing swords and sorcery painted of course because we can't play anything not painted or else you guys would kill us isn't that true uh, right now, I'll, I'll stay on for a few minutes. If you have any questions, this would be a good time. You can ask about the um, the uh, charity uh, if you want. If you have any questions about that, I can actually tell you that there are still five lots with no bids. I think it's 1, 3, 14, 15, 16, 19, if I'm not sure. Something like that. I am in the midst of painting these myself. I used Astro Granite from GW for the base for it. It looks pretty nice. That's what, exactly what I'm going to do when we get to it. <clears throat> uh, although hard to use on small bases, yes. Well, you're welcome, Sean. It is, it's, it's more economical for paint usage, I hear, but cleaning is going to be a pain. High frequency water cleaner for the needle of the airbrush well I saw an airbrush that I was kind of fan uh, kind of fascinated in and uh, we're eventually going to do something with that I have an airbrush and compressor and I'm not too chicken to use it it just depends what I want to use it for so it looks like you guys don't have any questions so I think we'll leave it at that it looks like we covered everything and we did everything so let's let these dry um, guys Remember tomorrow, we have, of course, um, Swords and Sorcery. And then Sunday, we're painting, finally, Battle Stations for poor Jeff. I feel so bad that we had to push this off twice. Uh, let's see. No, and I think that's about it. No questions? Great. Guys, to pay the bid. Can I just use a credit card right on your PayPal? Well, that's a good question. Can they use a credit card on the PayPal? I don't know. I've never done that. I've always used a 
probably just paid for my. No, um, it, it, there, it, there probably is. A, a, there's a probably option. a way to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure how you do it. Me either. But you you have to have a PayPal account, whether it's attached to your credit card or not. Kabuki, always good to see you. I'm surprised I didn't get any wisecracks out of you. I'm sure you have something in you to, to end this stream. If you connect, uh, Leland's handling it. Thanks as always, Rob. Best to you and your family. Mac, thanks so much. You have to pay a fee. Yeah, okay, there you go. Leland's handling all the questions like he normally does. Okay, so with that said, guys, thanks so much. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Be nice, you guys.